and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For some more mono red aggro in best of one, we played this a few days ago and did well with it and it was an enjoyable deck to play and everything like that. So we're going to be uh, bringing it back here. We got another donation to play it again. Um, basically the same list that we played about a week ago. We did. We are taking out the third Rimrock Knight for a second Slaying Fire. Slaying Fire was a card that looked pretty strong um, <clears throat> there last time. So we're playing a second Slaying Fire here today. Um, I, there is a sideboard over here, because the person that donated for it does have a sideboard for best of three, if you'd like to play best of three. But we're going to be just playing best of one with the deck. One thing that I think is a really cool sideboard card in the red deck here is this Immolation Shaman. This is, of course, for the Witch's Oven decks. Whenever they activate the, the Witch's Oven, take one. And whenever they activate the Cauldron Familiar to put it back into play, they take one. And um, so, so Immolation Shaman uh, can really add up some damage there. And so I think that's a really neat sideboard card. I, I kind of liked the sideboard that it had last time. I'm not sure if I really like all these fries, honestly. Last time I had a couple expansion explosions. And I actually like the expansion explosion, I think, more than fry. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're playing best of one. Um... I remember last time Robber the Rich looked good. Risk Factor looked pretty good. We did a very good job of drawing Torbran whenever we need it. Bone Crusher Giant was just amazing. Um, but let's let's get to it today and see how it goes. Oh, we got a new... Let's use the Lightning Bolt Sleeve for Mono Red. Yeah. Hey, Samantha. Okay, so we're going to go Standard Ranked Mono Red Aggro. Oh, it's right there. Here we go. You don't think they would care m much about the Shaman? I don't know. that. Like Whenever you're playing a, an aggressive deck that's dealing a good amount of damage to them, that, that extra damage really adds up. And, you know, it has, you know, it has Menace. It attacks and blocks. <laughs> yep, I did sleep well last night. And... Oh, yeah, Shaman with Torbran. Does Shaman start doing 3 damage with the Torbran out? That would be really good. Get a Spitter in play. Yeah, Shaman does the damage to the player. So, yep. Yeah, so it start doing 3 damage. Because, yeah, Shaman is the thing doing the damage. Hey, James. Just had a 53-minute match versus Grixis Control. That's awesome. Hope, yeah, hope it went went well. But yeah, taking a break from playing to enjoy the stream today. Thanks, James. Oh, also, we've had uh, three subs on the day. Not one. I should update that. They got five cards in hand. double let's go these things it's good to get more score like the scorch bitter and play as early as possible so we can start attacking for two the next turn the fervent champions having haste they'll be able to attack as soon as they enter I don't think they're very alive. Yeah, my, my playlist is there on... It's right there on Spotify. Exclamation point playlist. That's just my own playlist that I put together. Ooh, it's Mardu deck.
let the spawn of mayhem do the damage. Yeah, yeah, Fervent Champion is a Javi, ha, uh, Javier Dominguez card, yep. Yeah, that's really awesome. Oh no. Janini says they're more, more dead than my hopes and dreams. No. Oh, deck, I have not pulled up Deckmaster. Thank you so much. I'll do that now. Okay, it should be up now. a good hand for them not as good of a hand for me for this matchup I'm not gonna be able to burn down all of these one ones and this love struck beast is gonna be a huge problem I need to use the risk factor here. Oh, sorry, Kiranos. No, that's that's the only place I have the playlist. It's just on Spotify there. It's nowhere else. That was a bit surprising. Well, if they if they don't have another murderous rider, you know, like they just played two murderous riders. If they don't have another one and can't kill Torbran, obviously they have another one. I was going to say, if they don't have another one, we're probably going to be able to win that, but they did have another one. I guess I'll just block here. We were really set up well if they didn't have another, if they didn't have a third murderous rider, though. Man. Dessel! For the 12 hour stream hype. Thank you so much there, Dessel. Hmm. So close to killing them. Yet so far away.
Yeah, they had a very good hand. Need that tour brand to survive. The double first strike, the double three one first strikers with the fervent champions would have been amazing blockers, also. Can't win them all. There you go. Welcome back, QQ. Yep, can't win them all. Yeah, the deck def yeah, the deck definitely is pretty good. Um, yeah, we did well last time. Um, still, even you know, like that game for for our opponent being on the play in the hand that they had, and the hand that we had, we came really close to winning that. Sir Tails with a tier two sub. Thank you so much, Sir Tails. Seven months, I appreciate that. This would have been a match where having a a one drop would have been really nice. And Gator Frank saying Mono Red's my favorite. Uh, right now using Chandra Tribal at FNM. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Gator Frank. Yeah, Chandra Tribal, that's definitely a great one. Okay. Um, all right, maybe I should not have... I should not have played my land. I guess I could have just Fervent Champion light up the stage there. Really hoping they don't have Fires of Invention. Really hoping no Fires of Invention. Oh, boo. That's going to make their deck a whole lot better. Why do I keep playing my land when I have loud stage? So 
So I gotta do 13 damage. So this is two, four, eight. I have eight damage in hand right now. This risk factor could be another four, which would make it 12. Obviously, the card I can't, I really can't beat is. Uh, Kenrith. So I think I'm just going to go direct damage route here. And, I, and because of that, I want to play Risk Factor first because I want them to take the four. They did not take the four. Yeah, I do have to worry about Clarion with the lifelink. That would certainly be a problem. They have Kenrith. Fires of Invention's pretty busted. Oh, that thing only dealt four? Why did I think that thing was doing five? Darn it. That was bad. It's plus two, not plus three. Well. Shucks. Could have slaying fired it. And saved a card. Slaying fire. And it's basically like doing six instead of eight damage. I get to spend four mana. They get, they get to spend millions. I need to use these light up the stages. But I don't have the mana to. If they just have a Cavalier or a Kenrith, I die. I guess that I guess I'm just gonna play like that though. So my best chance of winning is doing this. Obviously, if they have any haste thing, I die. Hey, what's up, Toxic Flames? Thanks for that resub. 21 awesome months. Hmm.
<clears throat> that fire zone invention card is pretty good. Of course, the the Kenrith gained ten life. It was a little rough too. All right, robber the rich. Makes this a good looking hand. We're not very good at going first. Last time we were pretty good at going first. This time we've been on the draw all the time. So green white adventures. This hand's really awkward with all these three mana cards I can't play. This is really awkward. So I, I could slaying fire this thing, attack for five. They go down to eleven. They obviously they have thirteen coming back. I could attack with both. They block the rimrock knight. I do two to put them to fourteen, and then I do six to put them down to eight, and then I and light up the stage. But I don't know how I'm getting the last eight across. I think this is my play. GG. Good game. Well, I mean, the, the last three games, we've been on the draw all the last three games, and my opponents had really great hands the last three games. So that's, um, so yeah, we haven't won. Uh, I don't think that means that our, our deck isn't good, and our, and like, red deck does not win in this meta game, and we did, we were 7-2 and two last time with this deck. But best of one, being on the play is a huge deal. We were on the play a lot more last time. It's a, it's a real big deal in best of one, for sure. But we're on the draw again, but at least we have a one drop.
So that's a start. Should not have played that land. Should not have played that land. Alright, it's no big deal. <clears throat> if we had if we hit mountain mountain, then that would have been worse for us, but hitting mountain mountain would not have been great anyway, just in general. Alright, let's hope we get to untap with Torbrand. They scryed both to the top. That's not a good sign. That probably means Cavalier of Night. Okay, we'll take a Kai. I mean, Kai's Wrath is not Cavalier of Night, at least. All this life gain everywhere. <laughs> so much life gain. Jeez. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. They've gained nine life this game. <laughs> Pretty rough. And of course made us discard a, a good amount of burn spells also. I mean I can't I can't play these things, I just die. All right, let's win a die roll. Let's win a die roll. Hey, Necrolepsy. Whoa, we won a die roll. We would go first. And we have Steamkin on two. It's our first time having Steamkin on two. And I think we went first the first game whenever we won, I think. So I don't think it's our first time going first. My best play is Rob Brother Rich, except for if they have Clarion. They have Clarion, my best play is Risk Factor.
I'll do the Risk Factor because next turn with Robber and Shock, we can get Steamkin up to be a 4 4 to not die to Clarion. Sorry I'm late. Goes nothing. Hey, Lebeau. Yeah, the mono green deck we played yesterday was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Why? Why do we need two interplanar beacons? Why? Oh, I should have just attacked first. Yeah, I could have played a Johnny. That would have been cool. Wait, a Johnny? Why do they have a Johnny? They don't need to gain more life. They're already gaining plenty of life. Ugh, and they do have Clarion. I tried, I tried not playing those, you know, having two creatures out there because of Clarion. Wanderer? And that's perfect here too. This is just an anti-mono red deck. Yeah, the matchmaking hates us right now. Three interplanar beacons. Need to hit a land there, be able to play the other live the stage, make this thing a 4-4. Four four. <laughs> four interplater beacons, are you kidding me? Yeah, why not? Just why not? Yeah, just gain four life. Why not? This is certainly a match where we would need, uh, we need like experimental frenzies. We just, we just don't have the, the sheer card count. It doesn't even do anything because of four interplanar beacons. This 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we just had yeah, we just had black white life gain into Jeskai life gain. Yeah, but without playing um yeah, we have we have no shot there without having experimental frenzy where we can just have millions of cards. No shot there at that point. Opponent had everything they needed. All right, on the draw. Yeah, Magic's a very complex game for sure. If you're trying to learn Magic right now without, without knowing anything, I'd recommend um, reading through this level one course. Even though it was written four years ago, it still has a lot of really good, um, really good teachings and stuff and can really help explain stuff about Magic. Hey, my tai tai. Yep, yeah, we went down swinging. Ow. Oh, wait, we have to have less cards in our hand than our opponent? Hmm. I'm not gonna have less cards in my hand than my opponent. Something to kill Mayhem Devil, please. A rare card that nobody plays they'd love for you to build around is Return to Fable. Is that in standard? First question. Second question, are you sure you have the correct card? Yeah, maybe Banish to Fable? I was certainly hoping that we were going to be able to grab something that would kill the Mayhem Devil here. Ooh. Alright, they didn't kill the Steam Ken. So yeah, six mana instant whenever you cast a spell from your hand. Copy it if you control an artifact. Copy if you control an enchantment. You may choose new targets for the copies. Return target non-land prone to its owner's hand. You create a 2-2. So yeah, at best it's 
Return three target non-land permanents to their owner's hands, and you create three two-twos. At instant speed. These little guys are great. We finally didn't play against a life gain deck that destroyed us, but Mayhem Devil destroyed us. Didn't draw anything. You know, with my six cards and eight lands, nothing dealt with a Mayhem Devil. Unfortunately. Well, this is going like the opposite of last time with the deck. Some days it goes well, some days it doesn't. Last time Risk Factor looked pretty good. This time it's been just a dead card. It's been It's been a card that I, I really wish was frenzy basically most of these times that we've had Risk Factor. I would usually want to play Runaway Steamkin first, but I don't think we can just let them have Innkeeper and draw lots of cards. Hey, Triton. Yeah, 12 hour stream. It's a giant. Yeah, Risk Factor is underperforming with all this life gain. Definitely. Sometimes you're the deck that stumbles, sometimes your opponents do. Today has not been our day. <laughs> you know, last game we had the eight lands. This time we have two lands. Our opponent, our, I mean, our opponents have really good hands. They are, they're just beating us. Not much for me to do about it. Uh, Rimrock Knight just doesn't do anything. It doesn't block. So I guess I'm just going to be casting Bone Crusher Giant on the Flaxen Intruder, I guess. Mono Red does a great job of punishing players that stumble. Our opponents have not been stumbling in the slightest. Well, the one game that we won, we had turn one Scorch Bitter. That was the first game that we played. We had turn one Scorch Bitter. Here, we got turn one Scorch Bitter again. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about it. All right, took a Witch's Oven. So I know they have the Witch's Oven that we could cast. Let's... Hmm. The, the real question is, do I throw down the Fervent Champion or not? Yeah, we'll go ahead and Fervent Champion. 
Because basically, do I do that or do I save extra mana in case I hit something that costs more, that has more mana that we want to play? All right, got two of the ovens. Hmm. Hexproof. So I could, I could act, I could activate castle, and just do two damage to the opponent by activating castle. The Rimrock Knight also dealt two damage, but then we also, but then we get to play another three one as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's what's wrong with the camera and the voice. I don't know how it's, I don't know why it's out of sync. Um, we spent the first half hour today trying to figure that out and trying to fix stuff and resetting a bunch. I don't, if anybody knows what to do, feel free to tell me because it's real frustrating. And it, it was fixed for a while, but now I guess it's back out of sync again. I don't know. It's because I'm from the future. If I if I would have just cast sorry, if I would have just cast the Bone Crusher Giant, um, just to start with, they could have just responded by cracking the food and gaining three life. So I wanted them to get rid of the food at first before I Bone Crusher Giant gianted it. Okay, so there we go. All right, mono red aggro didn't look nearly as good this time as what it did last time. Um, was the deck as good as it was last time? No. Was it as bad as it is this time? No. It's definitely going to be somewhere in the middle there. The I'd have to say the, the one card that I was really disappointed about was the risk factors. Bethel, thank you so much for the, for the cheers there. I appreciate that. Um, even skewer the critics I mean not having lightning strike is really rough because yeah even skewer the critics uh, was stuck in our hand a lot you know the, like we had a lot of times that we were just stuck with light of the stage skewers and slaying fires you know like we were just stuck with these three mana cards in hand light up skewer slaying fire and two mana I mean bone crusher giant's just awesome but but like sometimes like those are just going to be stuck in our hands. No, I haven't played any historic mono red at all. I haven't. Um, yeah, I agree. All right, so with with these risk factors, I would definitely play a third tour brand. That's something that last time we did a very good job of drawing our two tour brands. We did a really good job of that. And yeah, I would play a third tour brand over the third risk factor. 
yeah, I like I definitely like that change. And then, uh, like, would we want to play experimental frenzies instead of these other two risk factors? The Rimrock Knights just weren't weren't very good either. I don't know. That's that's the thing. It's like the two Rimrock Knight, the two risk factors. Just those slots could be upgraded. Because they feel like they could be upgraded. Okay, Chandra's another option. Chandra's not bad. Because he could go War Boss. War Boss is really vulnerable, though. Yeah, I really do miss Lightning Strike. That's definitely the card to miss. Um, no, the Slaying Fires have been good. I've liked the Slaying Fires. I've liked Slaying Fire a lot more than Skewer the Critics. Skewer has has been pretty meh. Slaying Fire has been very good, though, with the four damage. It's, it's honestly been a pretty big deal. Um, I could definitely just see playing another mountain instead of these risk factors. Maybe play a 20-second mountain to make it so it's easier to hit that fourth land drop and then one frenzy. I could see doing that. I don't know. A lot of those times, though, maybe not. Maybe I'm, I'm a little too hard on risk factor because it was really good for us the last time. I, I would just stick with the two risk factors for now because, like, there's a lot of games, like, where you're just racing and where they're going to, like, kind of beat you damage-wise where you kind of need the risk factors. I, I would just I would take out one risk factor for a third Torbran. Yeah, I think Tor Brands are more important than Risk Factor, so having three Risk Factors and two Tor Brands isn't correct, and we should move the we should switch those two numbers. Okay, but that's mono red aggro. Um, all right, those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, you know, hit that like button over there, leave some comments. I'm sorry that. Uh, we didn't do as well with the deck this time, but hope you still enjoyed the video. Hope you still learned stuff. I recommend in best of one when you're playing mono red to win the die roll first and then have a one drop. I recommend doing those two things. But anyway, thanks so much for watching some mono red aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.